Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coders Lobby. So in today's video, we are going to learn how we can convert an image to base64 e string and then again base64 string can be converted to an image. So before going to the UA path, first let us see what is the base64 string and what is the use of base64 string. So base64 is a technique for encoding the binary data into the ASCII character set which is widely used in the computer system in order to convey the data without losing or changing the data's original content. So for example, mail system cannot handle the binary data since they are designed to handle the ASCII data. Okay. So the way it handles the data means if you try to transfer an image or another file, it will become corrupted. So here I have two questions for you. One. Uh, whether base64 is an encryption method or not and other one is which database is bigger in the size whether the base64 encoded or the original database so do comment your answers in the comment box with this let's move to the ua path and there we will practically implement this okay so we are in the ua path studio now and here you can see i have created three variables one is the input file path another one is for the output file path third one is the image base64 string so first of all we will use the assign activity and in the assign activity we will pass the image base 64 string and here we will write the logic so first of all what we have to do is we have to read all the bytes inside the file so for that we'll use system dot input output dot file dot read all bytes and inside this we will pass our file path now all the bytes are read here we have to convert these all these bytes into the base64 string so for that which method we have to use we have to use convert dot to base64 string all right this is done so let's press ok and just take a log message activity so log message and inside this we will pass our variable now let's debug the code okay the execution has been done and here you can see this is our uh, base64 string first of all what we have done is we have read all the bytes and then we have converted those bytes into the base64 string now let us see how we can convert this base64 string into an image so if you will see which image i have converted into base64 so that image is this uapart.png this was my image okay and if i'll show you the path over here in the variable panel you can see the uipath.png this was the image in the root directory so there are multiple ways to convert a base64 string to the image but the way that we are going to use is the invoke code activity so let's drag the invoke code activity over here this will be and it will use the two arguments one is the base64 string and the second one will be the output file path so let's give it over here as well and the second is our output file path all right let's press ok and edit the code here we will you what we have to do is we have to read the bytes from that particular uh, base 64 string so let's use that convert dot from base 64 string and we will pass our image base 64 and then we have to write all these bytes file dot write all bytes and it will use two arguments output file path and second one is the byte array now let's press ok so our code is done all right so what is the output file path here 
the output test.png let's see if we have anything with this name uh, yes we will delete this and this test as well we will delete it now let's debug the code and see the output okay the execution has been done now let's refresh and this is the output generated you can see the output is same as the input so there is no difference oh yes you can compare both the images both the images are same so i hope you are clear how we can convert the base 64 string to an image and image to a base 64 string so in the next video we will see how we can send this image uh, in the email body with this let's wrap up this video thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video